but now you see a lot more zip, a lot more people with that two summer, and unfortunately that one just got away from him just a bit on the inside part of the play. Caleb Joseph, the catcher, steps in. He struck out looking to uh, put the first out of the second inning of the books, his first time up. Comes up with one out, one on here in the top of the fourth inning from Chickchancy Park. This is where you want to keep that ball down. You want to see if you can get that ground ball right now and uh, roll up a couple. A little nice little 6 4 3. So be looking to keep that ball around the knees and put a little sink on it. Infielders at double play depth. Don't hear that term used much anymore now with all the shifting that goes on in baseball. I've never seen, but I wonder now if third basemen are taking turns in spring training at making the double play pivot the way some of these shifts are going. Oh, yeah. You would, you would think they would would have to make those type of adjustments, Ben, because you're right, these, are, these, uh, these shifts are very extreme, and it's going to cause the third baseman to do some things he's probably not used to doing on a regular basis. Swing and a miss. Looked like the changeup. Could be wrong. Maybe he took a little bit off the breaking ball. Yeah, that's a movement. Definitely was an off-speed pitch with some movement and uh, was able to tail out of the zone there and, got, and caught him fishing after it. Minor League Baseball with a 20-second pitch clock, not exactly to get off the pitch, but to begin your motion from the time that the ball is in the pitcher's hands in the circle on the pitcher's mound. You will never get this. You will never get this. See the pitcher tonight having any issue with it, usually getting their delivery going with about five seconds left on the clock. Yeah, you're right. You can tell this both. They're kind of their natural motion, too. They they're seem to be in their, their comfort zone, not rushed, but just their natural pace. Driven to right field. That's going to drop. Wow. I Wilson tell you what. saved that from becoming a disaster down at third base. <laughs> well, I, I thought it was going to be a disaster in right field. I mean, that was a risky play right there to show him how that come in. I thought maybe he was going to give it a dive and maybe try to come up with that. But, man, if he, he, he kind of laid down, that gets by him. That's a basis and a, probably a run they score right there. But he was able to come up with the short hop. Uh, and I thought maybe after that, maybe you get the force at second, but uh, you're right, the little air throw, the third baseman is able to knock that down. You can raise eyebrows and a lot of confidence among the major league people. Yeah, and he's calling it up right here tonight. I mean, he's been strong out the man, another registered strikeout right there. Continues to pound the strike zone with his fastball. Now he's mixing in an occasional breaking ball, but still being able to stay ahead of the hitters and keep them off balance, man. He's been he's been very impressive. And to think, like we said, there's a few other guys down there that's got big league experience, <laughs> and a couple guys are still in 100, man. These guys are stacked in the bullpen. He's from uh, Louisville was a freshman All-American. I, I should say he is actually from Cave City, Kentucky, a very interesting city that tourists uh, come to to see Horse Cave. And uh, he was taken in the ninth round of the 2012 draft by the Nationals out of the University of Louisville, which has become a college baseball powerhouse. Drive to left field, gets down, and gets by Hernandez. That's going to wind up a double as Joseph Cruz is into second base. Yeah, that was going to be tough right there. He did everything he could to cut that off. There was no taking the angle there. It was either you get it or you don't. Uh, no time to get around it. Um, unfortunately, it would just hit too hard to be able to cut that off and keep him at first base there, but a good effort. Derek Self split last season between double.